This is our DJI Mavic. Look how small that thing is. My head's bigger than that. <laughs> I can hide it behind my head. It's so small. But we want to take, some, uh, take a moment to show you guys this thing if you're interested in uh, buying a drone or something. We got this at Best Buy. It was about a thousand bucks with the case and everything. It was about another fifty dollars. But just wanted to show you how we it sets up and how it works and you know why we got this thing versus the last drone we had. So let's take a look at it. We got everything in here. Nice little Velcro things that holds it nice and tight. These are uh, ND filters. They go over the camera lens to uh, when it's really bright outside and it helps block some of the light. We got our controller. Folds open like this. Phone fits right in there. This is set up for an iPhone. If you can see, it's got little iPhone plug in there and I'll show you how we do that. Here's the drone itself and then we got an extra flight battery. So to set this thing up it's really really simple. Then you want to take this uh, little lens cover off and then pull this gimbal holder out. Then basically, just set it down on the ground. So I'm gonna set this down here. You don't have to open the blades. They'll open themselves as soon as the motors start. So let's check out the remote. Now one thing, I do have to take my phone case off to be able to put it in there. My plug-in's on that side. And does this hold up to what size phone would you say? Oh, some of the biggest phones out there. Yeah, you have an iPhone 6s? Yep. My, I have an iPhone 6, or I'm sorry, I have an iPhone 7 Plus and it fits as well. Without a case though. One thing you do have to do is download the DJI Go 4 app. Apps powering up. Now we just need to turn the remote on. You press once and then a second time and hold it down the second time. It's waiting to turn on the drone. Same thing with the drone. You push it twice, hold it the second time. You'll see all the blades move. And of course, firmware update. So we're gonna have to do an update real quick. So while this up, uh, down, update is downloading, I'm gonna show you a couple things. Uh, there, you got two screens. Uh, your phone works so you can see the camera where you're flying at. It gives you a few options on there also. Uh, what the camera is recording in, if it's recording in 4K, 1080, um, gives a few options. But then you also have your uh, flight info, your clearance, how high you are, uh, your height, your distance now your height is how high it up is and in the air distance is how far away from you it is miles per hour is over here rpms of the blades is over here this hundred percent is uh, the controller so this thing is charged to a hundred percent 98 percent is the drones percentage that's what the the battery on the drone is uh, shows we got gps signal uh, controller signal the EV compensation, that's basically how much light is going into the camera. Sometimes you'll have to adjust for that. So this is basic, basic information. Once this update's done, I'll show you what kind of things it shows on there. Another thing I wanted to show you is this plug-in right here. This is how it plugs into the phone. Uh, mine has a plug-in for the, app, uh, the iPhone, but I do believe there is a plug-in for Android phones also. It did come with both. It came with both, yeah, right? It did. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. And um, this is where you actually charge the controller yep, also. You unplug this and that's where you plug it in to charge. Um, it's really simple. It's a basic up, down, left, right, forward, reverse, and turn to twist. Um, you got a bunch of other key functions that I'm still working on. 
this one controls the camera gimbal you got a record button you got a picture button this one records uh, controls the gimbal also so I can turn it downward or upward or this controls your EV compensation uh, that's the camera settings if it's really bright out you'll have to adjust that and then I haven't played with these buttons yet I don't know what uh, those do I think those are programmable you can make them do what you want focus things like that it's really cool your phone fits right in there and it holds real snug you know I wouldn't go slinging around like that but I mean it's nice and snug in there still doing an update the best way to put the antennas is up like this that way it, it's got a, a way to get a signal more to get a signal if you put them like that there's not much for the signal to hit and you're typically holding it like this you know holding it like that unless you're holding it like this laying down in the grass flying your drone you know uh, you want to put them up like this um, I usually put them right about there yeah because I'm usually holding it like this and if it's and I try to stay like if I'm flying over here I stay turned that way if I'm flying over here I stay turned that way just so I get a good signal on it you can undo the blades you could turn them out like that if you wanted to before you started it up the twist of the motors they typically make them fold out on their own so it's not a requirement some people do it some people just do it with the motors so one of the main reasons we wanted to change drones is because the last one was just so bulky the blades on it they didn't fold up like the, the Mavic did so they took up more room you had to put them on every time when you went to put it up you had to take them off it was just more more work to have to be able to set it up and fly it and it's so small this thing is so small compared to the other one um, the other one came in a backpack something you could actually carry on your back and it's quite big um, now the backpack did carry uh, it was like four or six extra batteries, a remote control, a big remote control, but it was just real cumbersome and kind of a pain in the butt and we really didn't want to take it out much just because it was such a pain to set up so, sometimes. So this is why we got the DJI Mavic. The portability of it just makes it so much easier to set up and pop it up in the air and get some cool footage of when we're traveling on the road all right so the updates complete I will say this is kind of one of the more annoying things about this drone but I think all of them have it As soon as you turn everything on the app will notify you if there's an update you can see our update is complete you never want to fly the drone without doing the update first I've heard a lot of people uh, having problems that way but what we're going to do is go to start flight. It uh, takes me to some settings. See if I want to change anything. Calibrate the compass or any of that. Um, I don't know much about these. I haven't played around too much with it. You can set your max flight height. Flight modes. You always want to leave it in GPS. Uh, that's using the satellites to make sure uh, it stays where it's supposed to um, gives you your overall status normal latest firmware uh, what we do is just X out of that brings us to our screen if you notice there's a bunch of red lines that basically just lets me know what's in focus in order to pop it up in the air all you do is you hold both joysticks down and to the left that started the motors then to take off, you just push up. Now, with the DJI, as soon as you get it up in the air, you want to uh, click the center to make sure it focuses. Then you want to make sure you push record so you get all that cool footage that you're uh, flying around doing. Oh, it's basic operation. Sorry if the camera quality changed. We had to switch cameras. Battery was dying on the other one. You go down, up, left, right, 
So this joystick covers up, down, left, and right. This one get, controls forward, and you pull back on it to go backwards, left, twists it around that way, to the left, and then to the right, twists it to the right. And that's the basic operation of it, really. It's very simple. If I let go of it, it stays right where it's supposed to. One thing I forgot to show you on the controller is I got a sport mode. If you notice, I have that turned off right now because I'm still learning how to fly this thing. But it is very fast in sport mode. But what we're going to try today is I'm going to try one of the flight modes on it. I'm going to have Heather go around the parking lot on the boosted board and it sh I must program it to track her. It's going to follow her on its own without me having to control the, the joystick. So, shall be interesting to see. To land it, let's get out of the sun. As you go down, this is how I've been landing it. It's got sensors on the bottom that detects the ground. Keep holding down until the motor shuts off. Shut your recording off, and you're good to go. Now let's fold it up real quick. Watch how fast this is. We're gonna shut it off, tap it twice, hold it after the second time. That shuts the batteries off. <coughs> Controller do the same thing. Shut down, it's off. Disconnect my phone. Close it up. I got something in my eye. <laughs> Controller's closed up. Put this in its uh, rightful home in the... Oops, we'll go right there. Then to close this up, close all the blades, go down. Close this blade, bend this downward. Now, I've been using the gimbal holder to keep it from bouncing around inside when it's stored, but locks in there just like that. I put this cover all over it. You want to take this off when you fly it because there's air vents in there. That's how it draws in air to keep it cool, so make sure you take this off and put it back on when you're done with it. Snaps in, close the blades, fold it that way. Close the blades, fold it that way, put it in his rifle home, done. Close this thing up, strap it in so it's uh, nice and secure in there. Super easy. I love this drone. Look how small it is. I mean, you could stick this in a backpack if you wanted and not actually carry a dedicated backpack for your drone. So, DJI Mavic, that's it, guys. Peace, love, and expediting.